today we're gonna be getting ready in an Airstream RV camper thing. So I'm actually here in Spokane, Washington for a wedding, so I figured let's get ready together. I'm sitting on the floor of the Airstream right now, and hopefully this is like the only corner with decent light. I have no idea what kind of makeup I'm gonna do. The wedding dress I'm wearing is like a mustard yellow strapless. Also don't know what I'm doing with my hair, and I have about like an hour and 20 minutes to film this and get out the door. So we're just gonna go ahead and go to town. So if you're excited for this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, you can join the Bayrito family and subscribe. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Let's get into it and put on some makeup in an RV. I'm starting out with the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer here, and I don't really have a mirror either. I actually ordered this really cool travel mirror off of Amazon. I'm gonna link it down below because I got it and I used it for the Memphis part of my trip. I just flew in from Memphis to Spokane yesterday. Had it in Memphis and I must have forgot to pack it there because now I am mirrorless. I'm here with my friend. She's currently listening to the podcast in bed right now. So I think for foundation, I'm gonna mix the Ulta HD full coverage with my CYO Life Proof in 101. Also can't find my foundation palette right now, so I'm just gonna use the back of my hand. Actually, let's use this Tatcha thing. So I found this Airstream on Airbnb. We're in someone's like front yard right now. The Airstream is super cool, like super cute design and everything. And the shower is like totally great. I just showered, I've already moisturized my face, by the way. But the only thing is that there's a compostable toilet, which is a new experience. If you don't know what that is, you can uh, Google it. But if you're in Spokane, this place is super cute. I'll leave a link down below. It's also really affordable, but I love Airbnb. I have a $40 off your first Airbnb referral link thing. If you guys haven't used Airbnb before, I'll link that down below. I think it would be so fun to redo some kind of trailer or RV thing. My parents actually this year got a retro trailer. So they've been like taking that around California mostly. So I'm here for my good friend Maddie's wedding. And I saw her this morning, Julie, who is the founder of Project Bijer is actually doing her makeup. She owns the makeup studio in downtown Spokane. And I saw them this morning and she looks so beautiful. I'm so excited to see her in her dress and everything. And I'm actually vlogging right now too. So I'm not sure if the vlog will be up or this video will be up first, but I did vlog Memphis and I'm vlogging a little bit of this trip too. Okay, let's get some concealer going. I just mixed way too much foundation. I'm making Lauren listen to Scrubbing In with Becca Tilly right now. If you guys haven't listened to that podcast, you don't need to be a Bachelor fan. It's just good about like dating and relationships. Highly recommend that podcast. Concealers, no surprise here. Going in with my Flower Beauty Light Illusion in light. I like to lay this guy down first and then Go in with my KKW concealer in light, or one. I just add a little bit of this for coverage and it lightens it a little bit. And I've also been taking the Flower Beauty kind of down the center of my face lately. So I'm gonna do that after so this doesn't dry. So I'm just gonna bring the Flower Beauty a little bit down the center of my nose. So this is my first time staying in an Airstream or any kind of trailer. I get banned from all my parents' trips. They've been going all over the place and I am not invited to that. I'm just mixing my two Matier Press Powder with Physicians Formula. And I've been actually loving this brush for setting my under eyes. It's an hourglass. I think it's supposed to be their foundation brush. I'm pretty sure this is the brush that launched with the uh, Vanish Stick Foundation. And it's awesome for setting my under eyes. Super soft, but it's like just the right density. And it's been helping out with my creasing a lot under there. I feel like there's like a 97% chance I'll probably be bowling tonight when my friend walks down the aisle. So I'm gonna try and do like kind of intense makeup. It's gonna stay on. I'm actually gonna bring just my Physicians Formula Powder now up to my temples. Since I'm gonna bronze that. And for my cheeks, I'm just going in with Physicians Formula and a different brush and then just setting all over here. Usually I don't use this powder to set my cheek area, but just because I'm traveling so I don't have to bring another powder, I just stick with Physicians Formula. We actually went to Target last night to get a full length mirror from Target, like one of those cheap dorm room like $15 mirrors. <laughs> so it's still fully in the packaging, but I have it sitting over there. Okay, on camera it's looking, my face is looking a little bit darker than it does in real life right now, I feel like. For brows, I'm gonna start out with my Milk Makeup Brow Gel, and then I might shape them a little bit more with my I just put it. Might add a little bit of shape with the Cargo Waterproof Swimmables Brow Pencil in a second. I just love this brow gel. The shade of it and everything is perfect. I only had like half a Starbucks Nitro with sweet cream and I'm already feeling wired. 
I've been really into this brow pencil. I like that it's not like super glidey. Hey. Uh-huh. In like 20 minutes, can I borrow your straightener? Yeah, you can use it whenever. I'll probably be done filming like a half hour. So we went to this really good breakfast place called Madeline's on Main Street, downtown Spokane. Super good. All right, I'm not gonna do anything too crazy with the brows, just add a little bit of shape there. So I'm going in with my MAC Soft Ochre. I've been totally back on my Catrice Ashy Radiance. Whoa. Super into this thing again, it's amazing. Also been really into using my Flower Beauty bronzer brush again. If you haven't tried this brush, it's like the softest, fluffiest thing that just blends everything out. So beautiful. I think I got it at Walmart a while ago. <laughs> we were talking about this on the way over here, but what are your guys' thoughts on first looks? Would you do it or do you want to see them just like seeing you for the first time walking down the aisle i'm kind of a fan of just the aisle so i wish i actually brought a different blush because i've been using this since it's all i brought last few days the koki blush up but i almost feel like it's one of those blushes that kind of like lifts up the product underneath so i'm not super into it i've just been kind of avoiding using blush since that is the only thing i brought but i guess i'm gonna go in with it so i'm gonna go with the middle shade today the lightest one is super super natural like you almost can't see it This highlight, if you want like a friggin' beaming glow, Ofra Blissful is unreal. I also brought my Smashbox Spotlight Palette. Love this one too. This one I like using kind of down the center of my face and on my nose more, but if I just want like a really intense one, especially for photos and stuff, this is beautiful. So if you have any kind of like special event or something and you really want your highlight to pop, I mean, you will see. Look at that. Holy shitsies. It is... A little bit like not the most smoothing over textured skin but that's usually what you get with like a really intense highlight since it's obviously emphasizing your skin right there but look at that that is so insane like I don't have any lights or anything this is just natural lighting right here look at that. so the only eyeshadow palettes I brought were my jcat access pocket shadows so I'm just gonna use probably like a combo of shades in here. I'm gonna start with the yellow shade. This shade will like match my dress perfectly. So I'm gonna put that into the crease. I don't wanna do that on the lid because I feel like that'll be a little too much mustard yellow, you know? Oh, I love this episode. Isn't that cute? Yes. Now you have to listen to the one where I want the to. date recap. Yeah, it's really cute. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the contour shade again. I'm just gonna blend that into my crease. Next, I'm gonna take a deeper brown. So I'm gonna go in with this corner shade. I friggin' love this brush. This is the Sigma E44 for doing your outer V. It's just awesome because it places it really well and it has a pointed tip. So you can get like a right in there. I honestly have no idea where I'm going with this look right now. I'm just kind of blending browns together, blending that out. I would like to see what I'm like in a relationship with someone who is a communicator. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like similar personality is what I just heard on the podcast. Like someone who's like, wow, you're so blank and blank. Like they're not though. He's not a communicator. He seems like he well, is. Well, he is like socially, but in relationships, he's not. He just is like an avoider. Oh. Like when it comes to like intense things. So I'm going to go in with the middle shade and the Smashbox Spotlight palette. And I'm just going to take that on my finger. And I think I'm just going to use this as like a lid shade. The gold in the JCAT palette isn't super like it looks really cool in the pan but it's kind of like flaky i never film in front of people in two times in the past like four days i'm on a roll i've been with you when you filmed you have mm -hmm. when i don't know at our old apartment or something can you see the hair coming out of my face no okay. i have tweezers i only have the catrice dewy glow setting spray so i'm gonna try and use this to wet my eye eyeshadow but this one kind of burns my eyes so we'll see how this goes now I'm going to take my finger with the lightest shade in the spotlight palette. I might add a little bit of blissful too, but I'm just going to push that on my inner corner. I'm going to add a tiny bit of blissful right on my lid just to add a little bit more. There we go. 
To define the lower lash line, I'm gonna go back in with the same brown shade. I'm gonna take a flat edge liner brush and just push that right underneath my lower lashes. Then to blend that out, I'm gonna go in with this corner shade. I might add some white eyeliner on my waterline to open it up. I'm gonna take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, put that on the waterline. And gets all freaking over your lashes because it's so giant. All right, so because I'm probably gonna cry, I'm gonna use two different eyeliners. I'm gonna use my Physicians Formula Eye Booster and Ultra Black to create the shape of the wing, and then I'm gonna go over it with my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. This stuff is way more waterproof than the Physicians Formula. This I cry right off, so it's just easier for me to get the wing with this shape. And I don't think I'm gonna be wearing false lashes because I don't wanna deal with that all night. Okay, so now going over that line with the Kat Von D. For mascara, I'm going to be using, like, actually before mascara, I'm going to spray my face with setting spray, Catrice Dewy Glow. I don't feel like I need a whole lot more dew right now, but let's do it anyways. For the top lashes, I'm going to use Too Faced Better Than Sex. The waterproof version of this mascara is horrible. It's like nothing like the original one. And I don't find that this one has ever really ran on me, so I don't have any issues with that. For bottom lash mascara, I'm going to go in with Wet n Wild Make a Link. And this one is the waterproof one, I think. That's my lipstick. Good. Oh, I like that. All right, so I actually forgot lipsticks entirely, so I'm just going to use... I have the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, and I already have some, like, foundation on my lips. So I'm actually just going to go back in with my... I have lipstick. But I want, like, a nude. Oh. So I'm just going to go back over with my foundation brush and go over my lips to kind of nude them out. Then I'm going to take the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This just adds, like, a gloss. All right. So I think I'm done with makeup. I'm going to do my hair, and then I'll show you guys the final look. All right, so this is the finished look. We're gonna get an outfit shot in a second, but I just curled my hair. I'll have the curling iron I use linked down below and all the makeup on my face today I'll link down below. But we are now running late, so we're gonna get going. But if you guys enjoyed this video, you can give it a thumbs up. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.